Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and we're talking right now about parallel lines intersected by transversals in pre-algebra and the angle relationships that occur. And most students are doing a really great job with knowing the angles and knowing some of the relationships. And one of the struggles that we're having is some of these algebra geometry combination problems, where I'm asking you to find two angles, given some information as an algebraic expression, and then also giving some information about their angles. And here, this is example 23 from the homework tonight. I'm asking you to find angles E and F given the angles are supplementary, which means that when I add them together, angle E, which is 2x plus 15, and then angle F, which is 5x minus 38, I'm going to get a sum of 180 degrees. That's what supplementary angles are. And then from here, we're going to combine like terms. And most students are doing excellent in this first step. 5x and 2x is 7x. Here we have positive 15 minus 38. So again, you want to look at the term as well as the symbol in front of it. What we're doing here is we're adding two integers that have opposite signs. So we're going to subtract and take the sign of the larger absolute value, which means we're going to get a negative or a minus. 23. Positive 15 plus negative 38. And that equals 180. And then this is the first place where students might have a little bit of a struggle. And again, equations is our next unit. So these are pretty basic ones. If you're having trouble, more help is on the way. But what we're trying to do is isolate x by getting rid of all the stuff around x. And by doing that, we can do opposite operations. So instead of adding or subtracting 23, I'm going to add 23. And then instead of multiplying by 7, I'm going to divide by 7. And this is why we do that. If we add 23 to the left side, we're going to get a 0 pair, which means we can get rid of these and we have 7x all alone. But in algebra, we want to always balance our equation. So we're going to add 23 to both sides. What you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation to respect that equal sign. When we add them together, we're going to get 203. Now we're going to go ahead and divide by 7. And the reason we do that is because 7 divided by 7 is 1. So you're left with x. But again, if you divide one side of an equation by 7, you better do the same thing to the other side. And when you go ahead and divide, some of you are trying to do a lot in your head, which is great. But if you're having trouble, feel free to actually do the work. We're going to get 14, remainder 6, and then 7 goes into 63 9 times. So x equals 29. Some students will stop here, but the directions did ask you to find the two angles. So now we want to take the 29 and put it back into each expression. So angle E was 2x, so now I can say 2 times 29 plus 15, which is going to be 58 plus 15. So when I add them together, I should get angle 8 equals 73 degrees. That's your first answer. Angle F, our expression was 5x minus 38. x is 29, so I can substitute 5 times 29, sorry, minus 38. And that's going to be um, 45, carry the 4, 145 minus 38. So then when I subtract, I'm going to get 107 for angle F. And if I just wanted to be sure they were right, if I add these two angles together, I get 180 degrees. Angles are supplementary. Hope that helps with your homework, and we'll continue to work with this for a few more days. Have a good day. Bye.